far as the Maghrib time is concerned, uh, it is up to the dawn, up to the dusk, which covers the, the red part of the dusk as well. No, not only the red part, but the white part as well. And according to uh, some Jewish students in Islam, Wahhabis foremost among them, the Maghrib time only uh, extends up to the white of dusk. Up to the, uh, not white, but up to the red of the dusk. This is very short-lived. So this is why they hasten for a Maghrib prayer, because they think the moment the red part of the dusk disappears, the Maghrib time would also disappear. According to the Hanafites and many other jurisprudence, the Maghrib covers the dusk entirely, or the Maghrib is covered by the dusk entirely by both the parts, red as well as the white part. And they draw their authority from uh, the treatment of this subject in the Holy Quran during Ramadan, and when white thread separates from the black, you know, that is when the morning prayer starts. So because the morning prayer, for the morning prayer, according to the explanation of the Holy Quran, white is covered by, by the dawn. So its counterpart in the evening should also be, uh, you know, treated in the same manner. That white should be considered as uh, a part of the dawn, dusk like it is considered as part of the dawn according to the Holy Quran. And also, generally speaking, this also is true. The second argument in favor of this extended time of Maghreb is that uh, Maghreb can be joined with Isha in Jama. And when there is a separating no man's land sort of thing in between two prayers, they cannot be joined. So the Maghreb time must extend up to the time when Isha begins. Like it happens in the case of Zohar and Asr. Both can be said together and there the ulama agree that the Zohar time extends up to the time of Asr, when Asr takes over Zohar finishes. So similarly Maghreb and Isha should be <coughs> treated as sisters' prayers where their times join with each other. Asar cannot be said with Maghrib because there is a separating line of sunset. Similarly, Zohar cannot be said with Fajr because again there is a separating line. Isha cannot be made Jama with Maghrib, Zohar, Asar not with Fajr because again there is a separating line of darkness in between. So, to, according to Jamaat and now I am just explaining it for the sake of, uh, you know, sharing this background with you. Otherwise, it should suffice that according to the traditions of Jamaat and Maghreb time extends up to the time when Isha begins. That is, both the parts of the dust are included, the red part as well as the white part. So as time is concerned, how much does it take? It varies from season to season and time to time. We have charts are already prepared uh, and published. Okay. Approximately it should be an hour uh, and some minutes. Fifteen minutes at least. It depends. Sometimes it becomes ten minutes as well in some places. Yeah, you know, all over the globe. Huh? Twenty-two in no, that, that way, uh, already I have gone into this. That was in relation to the rubber timings when it was decided. But in other parts of the world, the same does not apply exactly. Good. Yes. So we have consulted the charts which are already published, and uh, we have instructed uh, many jamaats in Europe and other northern parts as to what principles they should follow. The morning prayer sometimes there starts an hour and a half before sunset, sunrise. In London, for instance. And uh, the same is uh, true of Norway and other northern parts. 
and in Pakistan the maximum time is 1 hour 22 minutes of your information. It's a very good factor but not much variable, only by a few minutes. This is an hour and a half. But in case of dawn, this is good. I mean, everybody accepts it. But in case of uh, dusk, although uh, technically speaking, this should be the length, but uh, this is not followed in practice. In practice, after about half an hour or so, it is considered that it's getting too late for Bali. So the tendency is towards saying it earlier, closer to the sunset, then later towards the shaft. And when this, uh, I mean, uh, Isha, Maghrib is uh, getting late, and by that we understand half an hour, after half an hour, it is considered to be getting really late. And when it gets uh, further late, then the tendency is to say Jama, because it is said that that time is perhaps the meeting time of Maghrib and Isha, so it should be said Jama rather than separately. What is the reason for that? I mean, uh, positive uh, reasons, reason in terms of new students, that I can't know, can't say, because I don't know any such reason. Only Surfayam has said, you know, understood by the practice of people and uh, the influence of time itself, you know, is such. When we are entering night from daylight, that time is the opposite. And uh, one goes under it, you know, sort of blue covers the whole thing. So, if the prayer is getting, the Maghrib prayer is getting late, psychologically one feels that it is getting out of hand, you know. <laughs> Night is setting. Morning time has a different uh, psychological influence altogether. So, I think it has due to something to, it has something to do with the psychological aspect rather than what other things. Another reason in tradition. Why? But yeah. go to the microphone. And <laughs> uh, that uh, reason uh, is based uh, on the tradition. Uh, that reason is uh, based uh, on a tradition in which uh, the time of uh, prayer has been mentioned. And uh, that uh, famous tradition that I was mentioned uh, in Kitab uh, al Tilzi, and that is the first release of Kitab al Mawaki. That the Hazrat Ibrahim al Islam needed uh, uh, in prayer uh, to the Holy Prophet uh, two days, and on the first day he needed in prayer in uh, every prayer in its first time. And on the second day, I know this is your referring to, but not in the same time, and that was the first time. First part, but up to half of part, that is not mentioned there in that tradition. If you have a level of prayer, or when you say Allah le vakte ha, that is to be decided, you know. Yes. When was that? Like the Hadi immediately after the sunset, or up to up to the time when Shafak, red part of the Shafak lasted, lasted, and then Allah le vakte ha also indicates. Positively, that there is a later part of it, it's still Maghrib. Yeah. You know? Bhakti says that Kapal Bhakti means. No, no, but what I am saying is a different thing. Perhaps you will not completely follow what I mean to say. The fact is that technically speaking, Maghrib time should extend up to the time when Isha begins. Yeah. And that is both uh, types of dusks cover Maghrib. That is the red part as well as the uh, white part. Yeah. Now, that is understandable and this tradition which we have quoted, I have read the full tradition, that tradition does not contradict this. What it says is that for Maghreb Hazrat Jibrail came both the time in the first part of Maghreb, not in the latter part of Maghreb. So that means technically latter part does exist and that was not the all the time of Maghreb. You know? Yeah, no. And secondly, it is not mentioned what was meant by first part. Yes. Yeah. Extended the two hours. You know, that is